So we've developed uh, version 3 of the QDB bot and uh, what it does it sources Twitter sentiment data online uh, from accounts online and the reason for that is that we've had a little bit of difficulty on our testing so far and I want to tell you what the problem has been is that we have a mismatch in the sentiment sometimes. Now there's two aspects to sentiment analysis is where we are now and where we've come from okay so there's like a time dynamic and the time dynamic is the dynamic shifting across time it's the positioning across time so let's use the euro usd so at the start of the day 25 percent long so we were buy okay now however since the open they've gone long by eight percent so we're actually we're sitting at 33 percent long now so across time it would be a sell, but the big picture, it's a buy. So we're having a mismatch. We've got one, on one hand it's a buy, and on, on the other hand it's a sell. Which one do we do? And we've always gone for the dynamic because the position across time should be more powerful. However, what we've seen is that it's not necessarily the case, and it can be the big picture, or it can be the dynamic. <laughs> so what we've done, we've got a version 3 and we're no longer looking at the individual currency pair using the MyFX book API, we're using the Twitter sentiment data and we are uh, using that data. I was not I was going to say we're copying those accounts but because we're contrarians we're reversing those accounts Okay, on Twitter and there's some prominent traders out there uh, that we're going to reverse okay so if I mention version 3 it's purely sentiment data from Twitter it hasn't got anything to do with the bubbles or individual currency pair it's just uh, Twitter sentiment data which if you think about it has enormous potential because these people online on Twitter they've got followers and then they've got followers and even some of those followers have got followers so it's quite powerful and sometimes the MyFX book guys can be right as well, in so much that they went long EU today, and we did we performed quite well on the Euro USD. So those guys did get paid today. So I just um, want to make a one uh, quick video about the QDB version three, and uh, I, f I hope that we don't make any more significant changes. Uh, it'll probably be 3.1 for the SLTP, but then we should be good to go. But you hopefully you understand the mismatch of the sentiment analysis and how it can be a little bit confusing sometimes because we've got like the big picture buy, but the dynamic across time that have gone long, so you think they would get punished, but at the net level, they're already short. So, you know, which one do you do? Do you do the static or do you do the dynamic? We found the dynamic has been quite uh, problematic, like in high risk event days, like today, because we're the FMC. And uh, that's it. So, just a quick one on that. We use Twitter sentiment data, and that's version three. All right, and uh, that's it. We, I won't go into details who we're copying because it wouldn't be fair, <laughs> because it's it's not it's not it's bad form, isn't it? So uh, that's the latest update of the QDB bot, and I'll speak to you guys tomorrow. I think maybe what I might do I might take it easy uh, Thursday, Friday, because I've already put in a lot of hours this week, and um, hopefully you saw the gravity um, zones on the Euro USD, and that will explain why we could probably be grinding higher on that particular currency pair. So just a quick one there. Question three is Twitter sentiment data. And that's what you really need to know. And obviously we had some issues with the big picture and the time component as well. So I'll speak to you guys soon.